the turbocharger has to be adapted. It's called adaptive turbocharger learn. Each turbocharger varies from, ver from turbocharger to turbocharger. Plus, as the vehicle ages and the turbocharger gets some wear, it, up it adjusts to optimize the brake pressure control. Turbocharger learn feature is designed to adapt for turbocharger functions to provide this optimized pressure control. It is exercised over its full range of duty cycle from 15 to 85 while the PCM samples the MAP sensor reading. Now the response should be as the controls adjustment are made within the PCM that are fine-tuned based on the learning function to give us this optimized control and this optimizing process is called the learn process. Now the learn process monitors to verify operating conditions that are acceptable for the turbocharger to execute this learn process. PCM evaluates the following condition. The engine must be at base idle speed, 750 to 780 RPM. The engine oil temperature must be between 120 and 150 degrees Fahrenheit. The vehicle speed must be below 9 miles an hour. Pedal position from the accelerator is below 1.5%. EGR commanded off. Duty cycle is zero. No malfunctions for the MAP, the engine oil temperature, the mass airflow, or the barrel sensor. This is what it looks like. The bottom is the duty cycle control during the learn process, and the top is the MAP sensor reading. Here's our exhaust back pressure. The next thing we need to talk about. We've worried about the running the control to get the right exhaust back pressure. This is what it looks like to look at our exhaust back pressure. We can find out what we're reading here as we go through it. The EP sensor is a variable capacitor sensor. It receives 5 volt reference from the PCM. It sends a linear analog voltage that indicates or represents the pressure in the exhaust back to the PCM. It measures the pressure in the left exhaust manifold. The signal is used for VGT and EGR control. Remember, we need back pressure for the EGR to work. So here's our EP sensor reporting to the PCM. So check the EP sensor. First, we turn the key on engine off. The exhaust back pressure, the map and the barrel should read the same. You can tap it to see if it changes. Make sure if it changes you don't have a bad connector or a loose connection in the wiring harness. Compared to the, EG, the VGT duty cycle, the EVC value should change as the turbo changes. Exhaust back pressure should increase with higher back pressure and decrease with lower back pressure. Here's an example. We're looking here with our engine off. We're looking at 14.2 PSI. That's barometric pressure. That should read the same as the barrel sensor or MAP sensor if we had the engine off. Now we start the engine up. We're reading 19.9. We've got 64.58% VGT duty cycle. And here we've sped it up a little bit. Duty cycle came down to 35.9. And we got 38.2. Remember, we're controlling the duty cycle. If we kept that high duty cycle number, we would overspeed the turbo at this point, or we would overboost the engine. So it's going to control it. If there was too little air going in the vanes, we'd overspeed. Too much air going in, we'd overboost. This is all optimized. Now, a bad EP sensor can cause intermittent surging at idle or even driving steady. Look for all kinds of excessive smoke, rough running, stumbles, lack of power, stalling, erratic idle, bucking, noisy engine operation. The main reason for all of this is erratic EG val EGR valve operation. That's the, the root re cause of the problem. There was an update in 2003 model year where they took the powertrain control module and reprogrammed it to eliminate the use of the exhaust back pressure sensor. The back pressure was inferred or calculated, if you would, by using MAP mass airflow, barrel, and engine oil temperature sensors.